freshman year, you chose computer engineering because you wanted something more hands-on than computer science, but with more work from home potential than electrical engineering. And since you liked both circuits and coding, this was a happy combination of both. This year, you're taking core sciences and math along with fundamentals of computing one. Sophomore year, it's another heaping pile of math along with fundamentals of computing two, digital logic circuits, software construction, electric circuit analysis, and computer systems. If you had a dollar for every time your code broke, you could retire already. Sadly, bugs don't earn paychecks, so junior year, it's hurricane season with discrete structures, intro to operating systems, signals and systems, digital electronics, intro to algorithms, embedded systems, design lab, random signals and systems, and digital system design. This summer, you decide to design your own RPG dice roller for doper gameplay. You're also working on designing your own video game, but the reality is you're mostly using your four-year degree to fix vanilla problems in your aunts and uncles' computers. Senior year, you now have 1,000 tabs open in your web browser, which you'll close soon after computer architecture and design, information networks and technology, a few comp E electives, and capstone design, where you might create an entire team of adorable tiny robots to work together to find the end of a maze. Your brain cells have gone from communicating in Python to assembly, and any day now they'll revert straight to machine code. You're ready for a career in cybersecurity, CPU design, field programmable gate array, very large scale integration, embedded systems, or if all else fails, web development.